Hey kids, and welcome to the learning to rig and maybe compositing and effects and a bunch of technical degree in harmony tutorial series. Name still in progress. I'm your host, Tracy Strong. I've been a harmony journalist for about eight years now, and I've worked in a bunch of different departments, uh, character animation and design. I've done mouth charts and hand charts, positing, special effects, which is mostly what I'm doing nowadays. I've also done background design, motion graphics stuff, just a whole pile of different stuff. So because I've had a variety of different jobs, I have uh, a broad understanding of the software and I've been asked a bunch of times to make these tutorials and I've been putting it off for a long time. So here you go. You can get off my back. The first part of this series is going to be all about rigging. I'm not going to teach you how to rig a character because I don't think that's the right way to go about it. There's no one character that can encompass everything you'll need. If you have a rubber hose style show with like wiggly arms and stuff and you're doing a lot of redraw, that's going to need a completely different rig than something like an Elizabethan high society with big fancy wigs and like poofy colors, lots of texture on the dress, 700 frills. Those are going to need very different solutions. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to tell you how all this stuff works and I give you a bunch of different examples of how this stuff can be used in different ways, different approaches to problems, uh, what all these menus mean, like how you can use them to the best of your ability. And then hopefully once we're through, you can approach any problem that you come across with good problem solving skills because rigging is just problem solving and if I just show you how to rig one character then the next time you come across something that's completely different I don't think that you're gonna have the right tools to, to accomplish what you need to in the best way possible so hopefully by the end of this you can make a really efficient rig for exactly what your production needs or you can make an overly complicated rig with way too many bells and whistles and like a big pile of deformers that lag the whole show down and like a big pile of shadows and stuff and we definitely need more layers here because that's usually what you do in a production setting because they let the animators have some kind of opinion on what the rig isn't doing and they just want all the bells and whistles and that's why we drink we'll also get into some compositing because that's really fun i like doing that a lot and then maybe even some special effects like i said that's what i've been doing nowadays and i really enjoy that i think the most out of anything okay so quick note <laughs> I right, recorded the intro and then record the videos after. So I wanted to add a little bit of a disclaimer before we get into it. First five videos or so are gonna be like a shotgun overview of how all these things work. If during that time you're totally lost, you like, you, cause you don't understand the interface, like you don't know where the X sheet or the timeline is, you don't know what a node library is. If you're that much of a beginner, I highly recommend popping over to the Harmony website and checking out their videos first because they have really good stuff for the ultra beginner how each of these tools work, the drawing tools, um, how to create a peg, how to create a drawing. So if you're totally fresh, like you've never used this program before, you might want to start there. I am trying to make this tutorial beginner friendly, but you do have to have a basic understanding of how to navigate the program first. I'm not going to recreate the videos that they've already done because I think the ones they have are fine. <laughs> the ones they did are just perfect for exactly what the beginner needs. Aside from that, if you kind of get the gist of it, you don't really need to memorize exactly everything I say because I'm going to go over how all this stuff works in a big overview. But while I'm rigging, if I'm going to be using a setting or I'm going to be using a specific module, I will explain again why I'm using it and how I'm using it. So don't feel super pressured to memorize everything. But if it is completely bonkers, like if none of it makes sense, it's jibber jabber, pop over the Harmony website and check out their super beginner stuff. Okay. If you have any questions or things unclear, please leave a question down below. Thanks for dropping by and I'll see you in the next video. Like, share, subscribe. All those things.